Hi, this is Mariko Gifford with Moringa for Life. This is a series of little videos that we're making for you to learn about the best way to grow and harvest Moringa. So uh, the, the previous uh, little clip was about how to um, cut down your, um, your pl potted plant all the way down to the soil level to produce more branching out. So what we're showing today is a similar effect. These are uh, some of our Moringa plants that are in boxes. These are three by three by three avocado crates and you can see at the base, so those two looking like stumps, those were the original, one of them was the original uh, tree that was cut and sent out another shoot. And then once that gets cut, then it sends out these uh, more shoots. So you can see that on more of these branches you have more leaf production. So that's the purpose of cutting these down to the close to the soil level. You can see there's like two or three inches to the soil level here. And then more branching comes out and on each of these now you have all of this leaf production where if you just had one branch and one stalk coming out you'd have one third of the leaf production that you can see right here. So this is what we're going for where you know and I'll cut one of these branches off and you can see how beautiful that leaf production is and it comes from you know regularly cutting that back and it'll increase your leaf production. Right next to uh, uh, this is another uh, example. You can see this has been cut down. This is more obvious that this larger one was the original tree. This was the shoot that came out after and now both of these are sending up shoots for more and more leaf production. So the other, the previous one just had three shoots coming out, but you can see on this, like the, the smaller one has five shoots coming out, the larger one here has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen shoots, each one of those producing leaf on the length of it. So this is how to trim it down, this is the reason we encourage people to trim it down, because in most areas, you don't have, unless you're living in the tropics, you don't have that full season, so you want to have the most amount of leaf production in your growing season as possible, and this is the way to do it. In the next series, we're going to show us, uh, that we can actually take this whole uh, stump out, this whole uh, root, and dig it out of the box, transplant it into the ground, and have that leaf production go. So Moringa is demonstrating yet another amazing feature that's rarely ever found. I know no other tree that's a taproot tree that lets you handle it this way and continue to give more and more and more. The more you cut it back, the more it gives. The, the more you handle it, and you'll see in the other, uh, another clip that we're gonna show, it just sends more and more root, uh, sorry, uh, stems out for leaf production. So that's it for this one. We look forward to staying tuned to Moringa for Life.